Hey, welcome back everybody to this channel. Uh, modification, just want to let everybody know the uh, the Donkey Kong cabinet over here has gotten a big update on here. I'll talk about the updates on here and some suggestions that people gave me. So, um, basically this cabinet, this is the only cabinet that we, uh, we did any type of modification to the control pad. Uh, we changed a two-way joystick to a four-way. And that uh, uh, basically required to uh, make some cutting on here, because as you know, the uh, both the Galaga and the Space Invaders has uh, just that thin line across, makes it a two-way, so you can't go up and down. And you basically just need to uh, cut that big uh, top and bottom piece so the joystick could go both up and down like this. You know, so uh, that not being such a major cutting, I decided to do it. You know, as you saw all my other videos, we never had to put any extra buttons, drilling type of holes, uh, just for this one. But it was such a minor thing, especially with the dust cover on here. If you do get like a half joystick or anything, they're even uh, bigger on here. So you don't have to be so precise or so. Uh, it doesn't have to be cut, you know, per, uh, to its perfection because it's going to be covered up anyway. So... Uh, because of all that uh, and uh, uh, my love for Donkey Kong, I decided to do it. Now, um, some guys messaged me on here where um, they didn't want to get the artwork or spend the money or just wanted to use the Galaga Space Invaders as is. Um, so what I've done, I've made three separate Im images on here. One of them is going to be the Donkey Kong, which is going to have this artwork. Uh, the other one is a Galaga, and lastly, Space Invader. So if you have uh, either of those cabinets, uh, and you don't want to get the artwork, um, it's the same image for all, same games on all of them. The only difference is, um, let me just load up a game here. Basically, when you go to the game, and you have the launch menu on here, see this Donkey Kong has the Donkey Kong control pad. Galaga will have a Galaga control pad. Space Invaders will have... Uh, Space Invaders one, so it, this way it does match its um, uh, cabinet. You know, let me uh, let me just exit out of there. So, um, so I did all that, so you could download. So that's the difference between all three images, uh, depending which cabinet you have or which cabinet you're doing uh, for the four way. Um, I will also have a video later on today, hopefully, uh, that will have the Galga Space Invaders, but only as a two way. I have my cabinet here actually. Uh, this is the Space Invaders. I just gotta put it together. I have the image, everything ready to go. I just gotta put this one together. And I also uh, just gotta shoot the video and then I could upload that. So it's pretty much done. Uh, hopefully I get time later on tonight to do that. Uh, this is for the people that do not wanna make that modification and just wanna keep it as a two way. Some people like that, uh, you know, when they play uh, like Galaga or Space Invaders that, uh, it, it, you know, it's not going to trigger anything going up and down, but just that being there, you know, so, uh, you know, I could see the reason why. Um, that's why I have two of them. This is going to be just uh, specifically for my two-way games, and that's going to be for my four-way. So uh, that image will be uploaded hopefully tonight if I do get the time. Uh, let me speak about the updates, what you're going to get on this now. Uh, some people noticed on here there was some audio issues um, for some games like Donkey Kong where uh, I was missing some of the sound effects on there. So that's been fixed for games like Donkey Kong, I think Galaga, Space Invaders. And what I'm talking about, like it had this audio, all the other images had it, but when he stomps on here, you wouldn't hear this. That sound effect... Uh, was missing and also when Jumpman uh, moves you know you get that squeaky noise you wouldn't have that in the other one so the audio has been fixed on all these um, and plus um, I've added so you have your Donkey Kong games on there you have your Galaga games uh, also put in Pac-Man so because some people wanted Pac-Man I guess if they're doing like a Pac-Man and Galga reunion type of uh, cabinet. So Pac-Man's on here as well. And so is Space Invaders, you know. And then your general, uh, I have up to 36 different games on here. 
Um, so let's say you do have this. Uh, if you already have a Galaga one and you don't want this on here, or let's say you already have a Pac-Man like I do over here, and you don't want this collection, uh, you know, just uh, plug your keyboard in, press the enter button, we'll bring up the menu, go to uh, game collections, and then you want to go to custom game collection here, and then you could remove the ones you don't want. Let's say I just want it, like, I... I'm putting my Galaga on Space Invader, so I'm going to take that out, and I have my Pac-Man, uh, you know, take that out. So you could do that, and basically that's going to just leave uh, Donkey Kong on here. So, and then if I want to go to the other games, I'll just go to my main uh, list there. So you could do that. If you want to remove the game itself, just go to a game, and then... Um, Let's see, Amador, and then I'll place the space bar, and then you want to go to edit this game, metadata, and all the way in the bottom is where if you want to, you know, delete it, uh, get it completely off. Or if you want to add uh, to the collection, if you want to make that Donkey Kong collection have like a six in one type of thing, you could pick, uh, try to pick your best. But there, there's a lot of games on here, total of 36 on here. Uh, in the new image uh, so you guys could download that and also on the image downloads I um, uh, not only shrinked the uh, the um, the file but I also zipped it so that's actually gonna bring it out even more I think they're like under two gigabytes on the download so it should be a much better download and also it's a much better upload for me because I know I, I've noticed on some files if it's in my computer um, uh, I don't know, either it went to sleep or anything and it didn't upload the whole file or half of the file. That's why you guys might get some errors or it, it uh, froze at a percentage, didn't uh, fully download it. But, so those issues should be fixed now. I uh, re-uploaded all the images on here. And like I said, I'll have the Galaga Space Invaders 2-way hopefully later tonight on that uh, if you do not want to modify your joystick. All right, but if you do, like I said, there's a lot of cool, a lot of great list of games on here that you guys are going to enjoy on the uh, Donkey Kong cabinet. Um, the other thing uh, somebody did message me also was, or posted on the comments, I think, uh, if they wanted to add their own games on here, um, you could. Um, now, basically, when you do get this, um, you want to get that option menu back on here. I took it off just because, like I said, I want to keep it user-friendly, simple, basic, and uh, so there's no, no type of issues should anybody use this cabinet. But let's say you want to add that or you want to add in your games uh, or do your own type of build on here. Uh, what you're going to need to do, you know, uh, if you want to move the games remotely through online, you're going to need to set up the Wi-Fi, but you're also going to need to resize the image because it's been shrinked. So if I were to put games at, on here now, it's going to give me an issue where it's going to say, oh, there's not enough space and you can't do it. Uh, basically what you would do on your keyboard, uh, you want to hit the F4. F4 button will get you to the uh, command line on here. All right. Um, and what we need to type out is sudo space retro pi pi then the uh, dash setup because so we're going to need to go to the setup menu uh, backspace then uh, retro pi again underscore setup dot sh uh, so basically like this sudo space retro pi now big r and big p and then setup again capital s it is case sensitive, so it's got to be exactly like this. So pseudo space, uh, big R, retro, big P, pi, dash, big S, setup, slash, then retro pi, all lowercase, underscore, and then setup, all lowercase, dot sh. Once you enter that, you press enter, that'll get you into the, uh, the setup screen. All right. Uh, this is where you can bring the menu back to here. So you go to main packages on here. Make sure you're on OK. If you press right, it'll be on exit, so it's got to be on OK. Hit enter, uh, main core packages, and then down here, RetroPie menu. 
uh, right now there's nothing on it. So you click on it, install from binary, it'll add that back on there. And that's also how you remove it if you want to remove the menu. Uh, as you can see, right now, right here, it would be removed if I wanted to remove it again. All right, so we're going to back out of there, back, back. You could do a perform a reboot. I'm just going to exit. Takes me here, and then I uh, just top out emulation station on here. Station. So emulation station will get you back, or you could do a pseudo reboot, or just click that to perform reboot. So now when I'm back here, I got my option screen back on here. And when you're in options, click here. Uh, like I said, you can set up your Wi-Fi all the way down here, uh, get your IP. But first thing you want to go is right here, uh, configuration. Click there. It will bring up this menu on here. All right, here you got your network set up too. And then you want to go to advanced options down here. And then right here, expand file system. That's the first thing you're going to need to do. Uh, expand it before you add in any type of ROMs to this. Once you do that, then you're good to go. Like say so you set up your Wi-Fi, then you can remotely uh, from your PC connect to this and then move the games over. So uh, I know somebody messaged me on that. So if there's something on here that I didn't put, you want to add it to this, you could do that. Um, and that's it. That's it. Um, now, I'm not going to do that now. Like I said, I'm keeping it as it is. Um, and then, like I said, if you want to remove this menu again, you go back to that F4 screen command line, type that out. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's the new, uh, new Donkey Kong on here. Um, the uh, Space Invader slash uh, Galga will be coming up uh, and then I still got to work on these the trackball spinner games and I have my final fight so those are the next three after space invaders probably do a final fight and then get the uh, trackball and uh, uh, spinner games so that's the plan so far hope you guys like it I'll uh, leave a comment uh, like uh, subscribe uh, like I said I'll uh, hopefully have additional more uh, modification video for you guys in the weeks to come. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving and uh, see you guys soon.